talking with Jerry Stubbs, Bob Armstrong, and Paul Orndorff, and we'll be hearing from Randy Rose, Dennis Condry, and Mr. Saito. Of course, everyone is aware now that in a title match on television, Norvell Austin was teaming with Paul Orndorff to take on Rose and Condry for the titles. And they won those titles, but in the interim, Norvell Austin was injured. And Jerry, we're going to start with you because you are going to be filling in for Norvell Austin in a Southern Street Fight match where you'll be. You can wear cowboy boots, you can wear uh, belts, jeans, uh, use those uh, belts and boots for a weapon. You're going to be teaming with Bob and Paul, and it's more than just a match for you because uh, Randy Rose and Dennis Condry are on your hit list as well. Well, you know, what a way to get even. A street match. Rose and Condry and Saito. Well, I got two of the best partners I could ever have in this business, and I tell you what I said, it's a way to get even. And Rose and Condry, I got a lot of good even to do, and you can bet the street match is just a start. Paul, uh, I know that you're very upset with the fact that Norvell was injured. You better believe I'm upset. You know, Norvell not was only just a partner. He happened to be a very good friend of mine. I've known Norvell for over 10 years. We've been together down these roads many, many times. We've trained together. We do everything together. Well, I'm going to tell you something, Rose and Condry. You haven't forgotten us, baby, because we're coming after you with both barrels loaded. And this street match is just what I want, because there's no rules to a street fight. If anybody's ever been in a street fight before, you can do whatever you want to do. I may have two big cannons on my back, strap back. I got a pair of cowboy boots, and I'm going to have some spurs on them, too, baby. And I got me a big old belt buckle that's just getting made up that's going to have your name imprinted on. Because when I get through with you, I'm going to wear your fannies out with that belt. Bob, how do you feel about a new partner and this particular type well, of match? I got my fighting overall, overall, as you can see right here. Uh, I got pockets. I can reach in here. I can do whatever I want to because it's a street fight match. This is the way I like to fight. We're going into the ring. A lot of getting even to do. I know how Jerry feels, so I feel that we can trust Jerry. Well, you've heard from Jerry Stubbs, who will be substituting for Norvell Austin, from Paul Orndorff and Bob Armstrong. Before we talk to these gentlemen further, let's hear from their opponents, Condry, Rose, and Saito. <laughs> well, boys. And I do emphasize, boys, you've done went and signed your name on the wrong dotted line, Jack. Because you done signed your name on a Texas death match. Come as you are. Cowboy boots, cowboy belt, your fists can be taped. You can bust each other open. It doesn't matter. Texas death match. Cowboy boots from Japan, baby. Shark skin. Pythons from Texas. And my cousin's got his. Yes, the three most common, common, cri common cripplers in the world. Cancer, MS, and Rose and Condor. Ah! Stubbs, you know you're already wearing the mark of the Casey at bat. Casey may go to bat that night. We're going to have this match out at Joe's Bar and Grill, but they couldn't hold it. They were not sanction it down there. So we're going to have it in the Beeham Auditorium, baby. And come to pass. We got the Japanese destroyer, too, baby, right here. He's got his shark I told you, I told you, Japanese fight. Japanese street fight. Bob Armstrong. I show you Japanese karate street fight. All right. You got it from us, boys. Let's hear it from y'all. <laughs> of course, they did bring out a valid point, Bob. They've used some boards. They've used a lot of weapons. And, of course, they ain't legal. I'm going to tell you, I've been salted down, knocked down, kicked around, karate. He's changed my voice. He's hit me with so many karate punches. But I'm still here. I got my overalls on. I'll be in that street fight. I noticed that Japanese cowboy had him some cowboy boots on and a big buckle. Well, I'm going to tell you, what I pull out of these pockets ain't going to be a little bit, brother. And when that street fight's over, it ain't going to be no Texas street fight. We're going to call it an Alabama street fight. We'll call it a Birmingham street fight. But when it's over, they will well remember that day because we're going to make it so they'll never, ever in their lives forget what happened to them in Birmingham on that fatal night, boys. Bring it on. Bring. We're going to wear whatever we feel like wearing. I might buy me some cowboy boots, too. You know, them long high heels, because I know a good place to put them. I got a pair of boots. You got a great big old steel toe. Them old ironworking boots that I used to use when I was an ironworker. You can well, let me them. borrow them. They are sure do some damage. Hey, I'll tell you something, Les. Rose, Connie, Saito, I'm going to have me a pair of boots on, and you'll never know the thing that I pull out that hits you, because you're going to be laid flat out. Because when I pull it out, you're going to say, oh, my God, here it goes. And it's going to be over. There may be no boards or no chairs in that Birmingham ring, but there'll certainly be boots, fists, and belts. It's a Southern Street Fight match, and certainly it should be action-packed. 